Deuteronomy 32 30 he said how can one chase a thousand it is in the plan of God that one will chase a thousand that means that if a single believer begins to emerge in a family emerge in a territory if one of us enters a workplace all the demonic system that have been put in place should be shaken they ought to feel the impact of that one man that has entered that place because he has come or she has come as a carriage of god as a carrier of god and that is what god seeks to do with our lives that one will chase a thousand in our local dialect there are people that they call them one man thousand it is a system in the holy ghost believe it you don't need to be a special breed you need to have the holy ghost inside you and i tell you that you have got the holy ghost residing in you you only need to understand who he is and how he operates and what he seeks to do in you through you what he has made you because for a lot of us the challenge is that we have not really come to understand whom he has made us one shall chase a thousand two shall put ten thousand to flight <laughs> Lagabaya said this. when i understood this one I, I i knew that only me i am enough for the family for the system demonic system that have been put in place for ages only one man is enough when the angel of the lord came to gideon in judges chapter 6 he began to commune with gideon and the angel began to speak with him and tell him that he is a mighty man of valor he said and the angel of the lord appeared unto him and said unto him the lord is with thee thou mighty man of valor proud to this time he was hiding the bible said that he got some food that he, he was hiding from the midianites meanwhile he is the one that is chosen to free israel from the controlling influence of the midianites from the governmental system of the midianites yet this man had no awareness could it be that you have no awareness maybe that is the main problem that you have no awareness that you are the deliverer and the angel knew the angel knew that this is this one is a mighty man yet hiding because he was afraid of the midianites for me i believe in we get there or we die trying so there's no backing down in this thing that we are into if nothing at all you know david couldn't build the temple for god but it, solomon came and built it and solomon built it because david gathered wealth and kept it it wasn't because solomon was just rich no david had already collected that money david collected the gold and the silver and everything ready to build and god said you can't build for me so he left it those gold that was used to overlay and do all kinds of things had already been gathered by one that came ahead Kai. you have to fight until your children will have leverage none of my children should come and fight a family altar that i couldn't defeat never it shouldn't it can't when they come they will come and fight the battles of the principalities not free. <laughs> not Antoyama. You, one of the days Antoyama manifested in this place of course we defeated it these are lesser gods they are told you that you are a god not because I told you the word of God says that you are a god you need to understand the mystery of the man in Christ there is a mystery of the man in Christ that you have not developed to that form that God has ordained you to be does not mean you are not it. Are you here? Before the angel came that Gideon now journeyed into the form that God has 
ordained him to be the angel still recognized whom he was he said thou mighty man of fellow and gideon spoke many things he was saying a lot of things blaming god and blaming his ancestors right if some of you that's what you are doing now you are blaming god and your ancestors and saying many things because he's talking about the generation that came before us they were worthy they were strong they were powerful another generation came we seemed defeated there's nothing there was an uncle that arose a grandfather that arose great grandfather's house is the one that all of you are still staying in after he died nobody somebody has to arise somebody has to arise intentionally with the mindset of ensuring that a new order is established a new protocol is established and you are well able any devil that is telling you are not able is deceiving you there's no reason why you are not well able he said and the lord looked on him and said go in this thy might go in what which might the guy didn't know he had any might because the angel said that mighty man of valor he said that if the lord be with us how come that this and that and that is happening he said go in this thy might and thou shalt save israel from the hand of the midianites have i not sent thee he didn't even know and he said unto him oh my lord where shall i save israel that is your mind when your mind is talking to you when god says you are able and your mind says you are not able where will, shall i see israel with what how and he began to now give a description a wrong identity that which he had perceived by himself was not that which is captured in the scriptures captured in the torah in the covenants in the provisions of the covenant he said one shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight and he is describing himself according to the definition of man's system he has lost his identity a lot of us we have lost our identity from the time i wasn't born again till i became born those days when i, I was I, I used to tell myself that you know, there's no woman i cannot marry i know this one is about marriage but that is the way i used to think that whether you are kufadu's daughter or whatever because my village will not give me an identity you can allow your village to define you to give you a mindset that is abstract that is separated from the mindset of the righteous there is a mentality of the righteous there's a mindset we call it the phronesis of the righteous we have imbibed the word and we understand that the word defines us the word of god is what defines me the covenant of god is what defines me the realities of redemption is they are the things that define who i am and trust me that is what really defines you and that is who you really are you can think less of yourself believe something else of yourself it doesn't negate who you are inside only that you not believing and partnering with god will now put a limitation on the flow of god's power that ought to reveal you so Gideon was defining himself by his family and by his village. No. We have gone beyond that. We have come to the place of identification with Jesus Christ. Who he is is who I am. Where he is is where I am. I am one with him. His grace, his power, his abilities are at work in me. What do I have to do? I only have to learn how to build this thing up to that point of full manifestation. You know, even in the Old Testament, when wars came, they didn't just move into the war. Sometimes they would say that, and they laid the battle in array. Israel met maybe the Philistines, and the battle was now laid in array, put in array, sometimes for days. That was one of those battles that David went to the camp. They were not fighting at that time because you have to now build this thing up to meet the adversary to conquer him there are spirits that may seem to be having influence over your life it does not mean they have authority over you you have to learn how to wield that authority and it can be a process of building 